Okay, with that we've finished the pre-dynastic period. Time to move on to the archaic period. Um, so let's get on and work on our first city. In scattered settlements along the sacred Nile River, powerful chieftains emerge. Leading their people with strength of will and spirit. To tame the wild landscape and bring forth the bounty of Egypt. Villages grow into prosperous cities. Earthen bricks baked under the desert sun become sacred tombs to forever house the souls of their departed nobles. The people who live along the Nile still struggle to survive in this harsh environment. A local king named Narmer has risen to power. Though Narmer has dominion over much of this land, full unification of the Twin Kingdoms has yet to be achieved. In commemoration of his accession, Narmer wishes your family to establish and govern a new city at Nekhen. This city will have temples to many of the gods of Egypt and numerous places of entertainment. Okay, so we're on to Nakan, and in this one we have to get to modest apartments. So we need to provide everything we did before, and uh, on top of that, we need to make sure that the housing has a uh, physician and beer supplied. Uh, gotta like that. So let's get on to the city and see what it looks like. Let's make some plans. Okay, developing culture. So we need beer. Uh, so barley from the farms, brew beer, uh, distributed by the bazaar. Uh, multiple gods, so we're going to have more than one god this time. So we'll have to balance out and make sure that we treat them all well. Um, I'll show you a little trick though in this one of using one of the gods to help keep the others happy. Uh, more entertainment. So we, uh, beyond jugglers now we're going to go ahead and have uh, bandstands and uh, get some music out there for the people um, and a courthouse will help to evolve housing um, actually to spacious apartment that's beyond what we are looking at building in this one but we'll go ahead and add add the courthouse um, and see where it gets us okay so the first thing to do is to look around and see what we have uh, Let's see. We have grain and barley, so we're going to feed our people with grain, and obviously the barley is used to make beer. Raw materials, we do have clay in the city, so we won't have to import any clay. Um, make beer. Okay, there's the conservatory for the, for the uh, musicians, and of course the juggler school. And let's see what gods we have um, Osiris he is a local deity so he's a minor god in this one um, Ra is the patron god um, and him you keep him happy you can boost your kingdom rating um, do a little better more trade and the final one is Bast the goddess of the home and she has some pretty good uh, she does good things for you, so we'll, we'll show you what she does uh, as we go along. Um, doesn't look like a ah, political overseer. This is new. Um, so we can give, uh, if we have money of our own, we can give it to the city or send a gift um, to Pharaoh to increase our kingdom standing. And also now the Pharaoh and other cities will request goods. This is where you have to come to fulfill those requests um, to keep the other cities happy with you. Um, the temples I think we had, so that looks like all we have that's new. So, we know we want to uh, put some farms in here. Um, could do some, we could expand farming to the other side of the uh, Nile if need be. Um, just have to see where we get some rocks, but no, nothing that we can get out of them. So, looks pretty straightforward. 
Um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna clear some area here. And I'm actually going to let's see, we need a thousand people. And the holds yeah, we'll go with uh, our same city layout, I think. And we don't want to get too far away from the shore. Let's uh, let's bring it right in here, somewhere in this area. Let's make sure we're close enough there. Okay, let's put our houses. Let's put some more roads down. There we go. Okay, finish plate extending houses. Oops, got an extra house in there. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, now let's remember we need to protect from fire and protect from collapse and and the police station. Um, we are going to put a village palace in, so we'll add the police station and our apothecary goes here. Okay, now keeping the gods happy. This is a little tougher when you get uh, multiple gods. So let's start with a temple to our patron god, Ra. And then we will do shrines to Osiris, to four, and shrines to Bast, four also. Definitely have to keep them even in numbers, or one god will get more displeased than all the others. So let's go ahead and put our water supply. It'll go right here. Now this spot here is reserved for a courthouse. And up here is where the physician goes. And, uh, kind of a layout that I've you know used and gotten pretty decent with. Oh, excuse that noise. Somebody's car is really needs some work. Okay, so let's get some people in. Oh, there they're coming. Okay. And let's go ahead and out here we'll put our, we'll call it a food block to provide food. And of course, from the end of our road, we want to go into there. There's some roadblocks to separate the areas. We don't want uh, people from the housing area into the other area. Put some gardens in right along here to keep these people happy. Now, obviously, we're going to need. Uh, we'll put a couple work camps in. Let's see, we'll put them over here on the far side. And over here, we're going to need a firehouse and an architect's post. Okay, now let's go ahead and place some uh, some farms. Let's we'll start up here in the corner with some grain farms. Mm. Laying out farms is always a pain. Trying to make sure you use every little bit of space that you have available um, and waste as little as possible. Now we want to have uh, at least a couple of barley, oops, a couple of barley farms. I'm trying to get some there we go. I'll put another barley there, and then we'll go back with uh, some green farms on this side. There we go. Okay. So now we'll connect all of these farms up with some roads. Okay. Hmm. If you can't tell, I'm recording outside today. Just uh, you know, getting a little nicer out here today, and. Uh, my daughter's actually dancing, doing some Irish dancing today, so uh, she's doing that, and I'll go watch her here in a little while after I get done with this episode. So. Okay, so we have some farms, quite a few farms out here, and we have uh, some people moving in. We got a work camp. Um, let's go ahead and put a granary. We want to keep it a little ways away from the uh, housing. People do not like granaries. <laughs> So we've got grain, and we're going to tell it to get maximum because we're going to use the trick with the storage yard. 
storage yard will accept the grain and then of course we're going to need another storage yard to accept the barley okay so we got a little bit of grain in and we're a little slow we've got some barley we're a little slow getting those built up so we lost the basically lost the first harvest um, could have done a little better with that well, we do get a little barley in there okay so we're, let's see how we're doing on employment okay we've got some unemployment that is a good thing because we need to come over here on this side and we're going to go ahead and start up the road network We're going to get our pottery going over on this side. I'll probably put that a little close to me. No, that's okay. We'll put it on the other side. Okay, obviously again we're going to need a firehouse. Architect's post. And on this side we're going to put a police station. Because over here I want the village palace. It's got to be in the nice green area, so we'll put it there. Also, um, ah, it's not here yet. We need a personal mansion so we can start making some of our own money. Make some money for us so we can take along in the future. I'm going to shorten this block up just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead now and put a couple clay pits in here. And one, two, three, four blue. Or, ah. Potters, okay, right. <laughs> I did it right. Thought we put the wrong thing in there. Storage yard, but we'll only accept pottery. Okay, our pottery will be up and running shortly. Let's go ahead and connect these. Roadblock it so they can't get out. Do a little bit of uh, gardens in here to keep the people happy. And then because we're able to start putting some plazas in here wherever we have the ability just uh, helps desirability we'll keep the houses upgrading easily They're not the last thing you want to fight when you're trying to upgrade your houses is uh, a desirability problem so while we're waiting for food we need some food let's see how we're doing on employees see we're short on employees not bad not bad we're just a few so as we get the food, when the food rolls in, then we can start up, the housing will start upgrading and we'll be able to, be able to get this going a little better. Okay, let's put a band stand in because we're going to need some entertainment. And there's a band stand, it has a spot for a juggler. There's the food, a lot of food. Spot for a juggler and a musician. Now, you see what I did with the food. Only one granary, but all the food came out. These people are left have straw. No one can yeah, straw was to be used for uh, building bricks, but we're not making bricks. Um, let's check on the gods, because I haven't really been watching them, but they look good. I'm going to show you the trick here to do with uh, Bast. So, let's go ahead and build a festival square. Now the, the cool thing about a festival square, it doesn't have any chance of catching fire or anything like that or collapsing. So you can build it anywhere in your city you want. It does not have to be connected. And that's good because walkers, this, this just destroys walkers. So we're going to put way out here. Now we're going to hold a festival to Bast. Now if we can keep Bast happy, you'll see she'll help keep the rest of them happy. Okay, now we can go ahead and build some brewers now. We'll just do uh, three breweries for right now. Go ahead and put another storage yard right here. And we will just accept beer. Hopefully his walker goes out the right side, which he did. He didn't come out on this little short piece of road, so we're good. And as you see the granary, that is, as the market ladies take food out, they go and they bring more food right back into Philadelphia. And if they're going back out to the field, we still have plenty of grain left. 
Okay, our houses are upgrading nicely. Uh, looks like we can put some more plazas in. Oh, lavish festival. Some more plazas, okay. Let's check out on the gods again. Okay, so our patron god is getting displeased. I expected that would be coming. Um, he has no shrines. So even though he has a temple, he has no shrines. So let's go ahead and place some shrines to make him happy. And of course, they have, shrines have a very nice desirability. So we're going to do shrines. We're going to put them over here right next to the housing. Help keep the housing happy. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the world so we can see on the other side. There we go. And let's put some shrines over here. That should help. That should help keep him happy. Um, he's still a little displeased. We'll go ahead and, ahead and hold a festival for Ra. That should help get him out of the being displeased with us. Okay, where are we at on our housing? Well, health provision. Okay, time for a physician. So, take the physician and drop him in here, and we will quickly. Start advancing our people, our housing. So let's get these houses advanced. Here we go. Bast throws a festival for all the other gods. So basically, if you keep Bast happy, she'll throw festivals and raise the levels of the other gods. So great one to have. Uh, oh, thought we were holding a festival to Ra. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to our Cirrus and get some better floods, maybe. So, okay. So, let's see where we're at. Beer. Okay, we need beer. What is going on with our beer? I said to accept all beer. Ah, there we go. We have beer coming in now. Market Lady has no beer yet. So, beer's coming in. I think we can build another brewer. We'll get this beer flowing, and the level should be done. Oh, here we go. Taxation and personal finances. This is what I was waiting for. So now we can place, as long as you have a palace, you can place a tax collector. The tax collector will go around and gather taxes from any houses it passes. Now also, you have your personal mansion. Build your personal mansion somewhere. Um, I believe it also has to be over a watered area. Now, you will be getting a salary every month. Um, you shouldn't set it higher than your current stature. Um, that will lower your kingdom rating. So let's see what our ratings are. I don't have ratings in this assignment. Okay, so. Modest homestead. Physician. Still waiting for that physician. So, as soon as the physician, there we go, physician is making his way around, and with that, we have spacious homesteads starting, as you can see here. Oh, modest apartment. Um, so, they still need uh, courthouse access to get to spacious apartment. I'm not sure what level we we're supposed to get to on this. Those are modest apartments. Let's see what it said. Modest apartments. Okay, that's what we're looking for on this level. So, we're just waiting for the population to rise, which it should. As you see, we have uh, currently we can hold 91 more people. That'll put us well over 900. A few houses have not advanced yet. Uh, I'm still waiting for some stuff from the bazaar. So, we can help that along. Let's go ahead and put another bazaar right down here. And that'll help keep these people supplied in what they need. So the problem is, is the bazaar traders go out and they run out of food before they get to some of the houses once in a while. So it can take a while for one market or one bazaar to complete an entire area. It looks like we can do some more plazas still. Okay, that looks all plazaed out. We'll put some over here. Okay, we have a, we still have food, so we're not running out of food which is a good thing. Let's check on the gods. Okay, see all the gods are looking 
looking good. So let's go ahead and hold the festival for Bast again. The Bast over here, small festival, common. A lot of money. Well, they gave us another 5,000, so let's just get these houses to evolve and minor blessing from Ra. Our kingdom rating has gone up, so that's good. We just need to get to 1,000 people. And Jas gave us a blessing again. There we go. And that was it for that level. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Um, looking forward to the later levels. They're going to get uh, a lot tougher and a lot more fun. So uh, let's go. We're done with this one. Well done. Thanks to your capable leadership, Egyptian civilization has advanced considerably and will continue to do so in the coming decades.